Hello you backlog builders, Joel here from the Hangar Bay and Sagawap finally came this month with this month's P-Bandai -Bandai delivery. Uh, there's been a bit of a delay due to all the stuff that's been going on at Bandai with the RG Unicorn, Mega Size Unicorn coming out very recently. There's the Gundam based Tokyo stuff that's being delivered there and there were delays there and they also have another special item coming in this month which I'll be able to show off at the very end of this video but I'm really pumped for a lot of this stuff so without much further ado I'd like to show off what's inside these boxes so first up I've already seen the label on this one so if you've got your man buns ready I'm gonna be excited for this one because it's the Twilight Axis version of the Zaku 3 the custom on that one uh, this is a restock. I had some come in two months before and because the series is still ongoing uh, This is second distribution run and I've been able to restock Just barely in time. I had just run out about two days ago. I think on this one An interesting color scheme on this one with a bit pinky and red on the plastic there uh, this is a new OVA that's being released in very short segments. This Twilight Axis is based on a manga. Uh, the Tristan, which was the antagonist suit, came out as a regular release, whereas the protagonist suit, which is this one, the Zaku 3, that's a P Bandai release. This one actually has a third distribution run, which is quite rare for high grade, but that's also coming in October, so if I start running out on this one, I can get more in for October. Uh, that's that one out the way. Next one. This one, I'm not entirely sure everything that's in it because I have a mix. This one is as usual. Grey's Aries. Alright, IBO fans. More Grey's Aries. This is, I think they had, Bandai had some left off it left over in stock from back in February and they released and re made another distribution run so I was able to pick up a bunch more Grey's Aries. Um, I guess they come into production then every so often. One of the nice kits is the Grey's, it's just recolored in the purple colour for the space type basically. And then on the way, Pluma sets, again restock. This is like if you look at the box size, this is a sort of a smaller box than the great one. Oh, okay, it's a fatter box. This is an interesting case where they have to re-stamp on the machine multiple times, which tends to put the cost up. So the runner contains two plumers on it, so they need to press that out three times in order to get generate the box of six, which is why this ended up being a P Bundo release. And I was able to get more on that. I had a fair bit of demand behind it, and I didn't order many because it just came with the hush mile, and I didn't expect so many orders, but People love IBO. And what else have we got in here? Let's at the bottom. Oh yeah. This is a reissue for this month. This is the Pale Rider Ground type. So this has been around for a while. They've also had um, special releases with it with a metallic coating that's appeared at Expos and also an Animecon um, anime in, in the US, I believe. Bluefin had their hands on some of these. This is just the standard one, no special coating here, but very popular kit. Let me see, there should be something else at the bottom. A couple of goats, chickens, okay, because why not? <laughs> yep, another one of those, this one, I thought show off a build for the camera, I haven't had time for building because I keep getting orders, but try and get this. We got another Twilight Access kit. Burlant is old according to the thing, so it's a like a zzz sound on the S instead of Isold, it's is old. According to the katakana on the, the uh, box. If you can read Japanese. This is yeah, basically the original Bjarlant, which is the regular race. There was a custom O2, which I didn't get, which is also available for this month. Nice kit. This has a bit of a rigid design on it, had extra thrusters and the, the funny small hands, which you can see there on the box. That was an interesting kit. 
picked up a couple of those, not sure how popular they are. If they turn out popular, then I can order more for October. And then this one, which was interesting, and I saw saw this at Gundam Base Tokyo when I went there. This is the Zeta Gundam, but it's done in the colors of Amuro Rei. So if you assume that Amuro Rei was the protagonist from Zeta Gundam, then what would his suit look like during the Grips combat? And my. This was interesting, they had marks, there's some sort of ring seal. I don't know if there's anything special about these stickers, it's just usual stickers. You get the sort of funny cut it, markings on the Zeta here because it had this sort of a split pattern on it. You'll probably get photos of that. It's an interesting kit nonetheless. I picked up a couple of those, mm -hmm. even though it's a Zeta, so it's a bit fragile. Still nonetheless quite interesting. I only got a couple because I'm not expecting to sell that many. Due to the fact that the, the um, Zeta is quite infamous for its fragility, so if it turns out popular again, I can get more. I need to peel my okay, I'm good with that. Move that out of the way. I'll bring this next box down. Oh, we can check it out. Alright, so first one's in there is pilot log. Masaya Nakago. Oh, there's no branding on the box. I was expecting some sort of ace pilot log branding on the box, but no, this is just looking like practically every other release. So for the Ace Pilot log, there was, I think there was something like six slots announced for that. And we've had Masaya Nakagawa, Brenna for August is coming in next month, I think it was, or was it October? October, I think, actually. And then in November, they have the Gym Command also coming out. Uh, sort of interesting collection of kits that they're doing for that one. It has a nice brown color on it, has a cute little antenna that can pop it as up. I saw that at Gunner Base Tokyo again, water slides as always with these kits, always really nice. That's that guy for you. And then this one. I didn't know what the size of this box was, so I have more coming in slightly. I delayed them for slightly later this month because I didn't know if I could ship this or not. I know that the full armor Gundam does come in within the economy shipping dimension, so I could ship that. And this lacked the outer armor parts, but I didn't know what some of these extra parts that came with this kit might have made it a bit bigger because it's always a bit difficult to judge P Bandai kits because they often have extra parts or replicated runners or stuff like that. It comes with the interesting uh, debris from the Thunderbolt sector. And then if I could get a shot of the shields. Oh, I have to the shield. I have to the, shield. the shield is this is a new okay, so it's a it's a new runner that they produce for it. So we've got the damaged head and the damaged shield parts. And then elsewhere in the box, which should be the water slide for marking that out the base in there. And there we are. So we've got a set of water slides which Sort of to detail out the damage. I haven't tried anything like this. I'm assuming that it should look all right. It's... This is a bit of uncharted territory. So you've got like pre-weathered kits in one way. So you also got the um, Psycho Zaku that's coming out next month. And I've got a couple of those on order. That's going to be a big box. Uh, it's going to be a bit more difficult time getting that. And... Ooh, yeah. This one. This is new for this month. So, if you wanted an update on Cuswell's Gundam from the 2.0, 3.0, it's finally here. It's in red. Doesn't go any faster, but okay, standard uh, 3.0 markings where you've got the nice, very, very, very red. A slightly more lighter 
I guess that's a bit more pinkish, a bit more fluid on that one. Very special looking marking set on that. Okay, that's two. He should have his own. Pascal should have his own set of markings. Yeah, there is there. Own set of markings as well for Pascal. I guess we could get the 3.0 water slide, so GD97, and mark that up with those as well. And you get quite a sweet looking mobile suit. I don't have the full set of water slides, but. Nothing GD97 wouldn't fix. That's um, all of that box. We've got this one. I think this is just all filled with cast walls because I ordered a bunch of them because it's cast walls and it's 3.0. Seemed like a good idea. There's more of this one coming for October as well. So if I need to re your stock, I can also do that. Water sheet away. Yeah, it's all cast files there. So it's a bit smaller case because the 3.0 is a bit of a smaller box as we sort of saw from that. Not quite as big as, big as those Zacco 2s. Let's um, move that here. Moving on to the next one. This is a mix box again. Not entirely short. Sure. Yep, mix box to the packing paper. Trying to pull it out because it doesn't. Oh yeah. And this one's a new for the, this one's new for this month and I got so much excited for this one. Pale Rider Space Time. There's a really awesome minigun there. Open that one up. Oh yeah, right there. I saw somebody on the Reddit post photos of it because they just ordered it specifically and they had painted it up and had really, really nice finish on the, the gun. He painted up some steel colour, I think. GF Steel. Really sweet looking model. I'm very happy with that. What else do we have here? Another Ghost Chicken. Oh, Ghost Chicken. If you've been paying attention to other videos, the M type. Just the one. And Mark II, and these are actually, because I only ordered two, I wasn't sure how popular they would be. Sold out fairly quickly, so I had to order more in for next month, September. Mark II, this is a very, very stable kit. The standard release, this is done in the Amaro Ray colors, just like the Zader, so if he was the protagonist there. If you wanted to do this yourself, I'm sure if you had a bit of paint and you had GD71, I think it's the the decal sheet and the GD102, you could mark this up for yourself. It is something very, very similar for you to that. I would probably consider trying to do that myself, actually, but that kit's rather good looking and I'm already getting pre orders for September. On that one, Travis Kirkland, Zeta 2. This is just a reissue, got a couple of them. Not sure how popular it's going to be, but why not? If people are interested, they can order and then I can get more, I think, on a different month. I have to double check if the order is still working or not. This one, new for this month. Build Fighters found the Hamrabi Suban, so that was based on a Universal Century kit and we've recolored it, we designed the head and there's a shield that was sticking on that one. Really nice shade of purple on that as well. Really nice shade of purple. I saw that one down at um, Gundam Base Tokyo. They had most of these on display. Not all of them. But most of them on display in Gundam Base Tokyo. When I was there. Um, oh, it's three layers. I've never seen that before. So it's just Subans at the bottom. bottom. I'm thinking, oh, I better check the other side now. I'm guessing because there were this was for, I have to check the other side of the box. I guess it was for pale riders? I've never seen them stack like that. Normally it's just two layers. But let's have it turn the other way around. Red lead unit. Um, this is just something for displaying the 
quite expensive, but they use a good quality lead in that. If you try to get the Chinese ones, you're going to get a cheap lead, it can burn out or it can overheat, and you're risking your plastic with that sort of thing. So I figured you might as well get the, the, the real McCoy, because you know they're going to at least use a decent lead in it, even though you're spending whatever, like 1,000 yen on this. And in the final box. Oops. Don't drop your lead units. Ill advised. Final box and scissors. There we go. Oh, not the final box. I still got one box under it. I'm have a whole bunch of stuff on it. Oh, yeah. This is a reissue again. Destiny Impulse. Gundam R. Regenus. This big boy. This is. One of the more expensive kits, I think, or this month. So it's based on the Force Impulse and the MG Destiny, I believe it was. And it has this unholy looking deco sheet there. My god, those stripes are going to be a pain to do. There's a lot, there's probably like 150 decals there. It's worth it though, this thing looks fantastic. We actually seen the photos of it. And all the shows of purple there is again. A lot of purple this month. It's Suban, is old, and this one. This one is an interesting case. Somebody made a request because there were 500 Votoms. I don't know whether to take Votom stuff, but you can order them through the P Bandai store. It's just listed with the other stuff. So if anybody out there is interested in Votoms and whether I stock it or not, I can get this sort of stuff in. This has a second run available for it. This is the Scoop Dog. Inga Lehman. Oh no, that's really nice. You know, Bundai had bigger releases on some of these Votom stuff. Wow. I've not built any of it, never tried stocking any of it. Still really interested in trying it. I've gotten Volks also have a Shadow Flare that just recently came out. And that's on a 120 scale, not on the 124, which is this one, but that looked really exciting when I saw it. And in the bottom. Oh wow, oh wow, that's big. I'm not anticipating it being that big. Uh, and fans of the Land Man Rody, here we are. Rejoice. Ooh, wow. IBO Tech got unset. So, oops, I went the way around. We've got the Barbatos Lupus Rex, um, what was it, Flower Ross with the Galaxy Cannon, the full CD with additional weapons, and then the Land Man Rody, which is the one which we have been basically seeing. We've seen a Man Rody, and we've seen an extension set to do the legs correctly for the Land Man Rody, but you'd have to repaint to get the colors correctly. This also comes with a number of additional weapons and equipment, like the, the Galaxy weapon for the Flowers. Oh, yeah, so we've got the Landman Ready parts there. That is a lot of high grade plastic. Wow. And additional markings all over the place. Landman Ready. Yeah, because you've got the eyes, so it's Landman Ready markings. I'm hoping that will fit inside my luggage. I think that fits inside my luggage box. I have to double check that one. That's why I haven't got it listed just yet. I needed to check the size of the box. I knew it was four high grades which would fit, but there's some additional parts in there, so I'm scared that might not exactly fit. So hopefully it does. I will check it later and list it up. And if not, then it's only EMS that's available as a shipping option. And this one, this one turns out does fit in the box. So I guess so. Yeah, so nice. yeah, that'll fit. Alright, economy shipping is available on it. It's a bit more expensive as shipping because it weighs a lot. Um, US customers can actually get this probably still, though numbers are limited in the US because Bluefin have it. It's not quite a P Bandai release, not quite a standard release for US. It's there. It actually comes with a lead unit as well, green one. Um, downside is that it doesn't have a full set of water slide decals, so you would need something like GD63 in order to get a full set of water slides for this, based on the XM riser. Yeah. 
Nice kit. Got a few more of those in. I had them in the pot. And then I need to dig out all the boxes that I've put aside in order to get this big boy out. This was actually shipped separately. So I went to a different distrib uh, different transportation company and they'll just send me this one. And I thought that was a bit strange. But here's a more unique product. And probably cause of some of the delays. Some of the delays this month from Bondi. Because oh my goodness. If you're not excited, if you didn't see the side of the box, I don't there it is. You know it. Perfect grade, 1172, Millennium Falcon. Oh dear. There we go. I can get it open without damage. Oh, we can. This thing is incredible. I think. It this was, I believe it's the A New Hope version of the Millennium Falcon. Those of you knowledgeable about Star Wars models will know that there are two variants of the Millennium Falcon. One that was in A New Hope and a new variant that was produced. Big that is. It's like a plate. My God. So, my God. Oh, that metal seals in there. Wow. Metal seals. Yeah. <laughs> That's new for this month. They've got. I've got another distribution one coming in. September and there's more available for October as well. But yeah, that's everything for this month. I have a list. Next month is really exciting as well because we've got more Jinxes coming in. The Advanced Jinx that sold out fairly quickly. I had 14, got another six more of those coming in. The High Grade of Freak Custom. So fans of the Blue Destiny have something to go along with their Blue Destiny. Uh, more Mark IIs. We saw the, uh, the high grade white dingo team custom. I also have the MGs still available. Um, getting some high grades, so if you want one in 1144 scale, that's possible. RMS 179, Gym 2, the unicorn version, which has a slight redesign on the legs. That looks really se sexy and it's got a slightly different color on it. I've got like one regular RMS 179 Gym 2 available left. And those are quite rare. I was able to order a whole bunch of unicorn variants though. The mass production barrel, so that one was in the green. That looks rather good. Then the two ace pilots, though it's not ace pilot log, the Robert Gilliam and Gabby Hazard Zaku 2s. More Trans Am Riser clear parts. The Riamatsu, so the P Bundai variant of the gold frame Amatsu Mina variant. And one that you've been waiting for for that long, MG Hazel. That's coming in next month. And damn, I'm excited about that one. But yeah, guys. Anyway, if you're interested in any of this stuff, please check out my P Bundle. Well, my, sorry, my eBay store. And if there's anything you're interested in coming up, please let me know. I've got most things on order. And yeah, anyway, thanks for watching.